Okay, so um, the first message that I'm getting here is a lot of you are entering this month wanting to make some type of a declaration of love to another person. I feel like you might have been holding back in the past and now you want to go ahead and show your love to another person. Um, and I feel like, you know, male and females watching this both, I feel like if you are, you, if you consider yourself like a female, like a, a more feminine energy, you're waiting for the other person to come forward. And then you you might be like, okay, enough's enough. I, I think I'm going to make my feelings known. And then if you are a male watching this, I feel like you're going to go ahead and give your feelings to somebody. And I feel like it's, uh, it's mutual. There's mutual reception. I feel that, you know, the person might be waiting for you to make a move. You might be waiting for them to make a move. No one makes a move. And then this is the month where you're like, okay, enough's enough. Let me just make a move. So I do feel that energy coming back to the previous spread. Um, carrying the torch for somebody. Like having having feelings for somebody. And not expressing it to them for whatever reason. So I do sense that um, it, it's going to be a good thing for you to express your feelings. Okay, to 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 show to show um, how you feel about another person, and especially if it's a new person. So, you know, don't hold back. Okay, so we have, okay. So for singles, I feel that you have somebody that you have a crush on, or you have somebody that you're like thinking about heavily. And um, going back to this card in your seventh house, this is a card about, you know, um, not expressing how we feel. This is somebody who is, they're, they're very cerebral. They're very, very rational. They don't really operate from the heart. And so their decision-making process is um, greatly linked up with logic. And in, in certain regards, you might be dealing with this person directly, okay? Or this might be the person that you have a crush on that you like. So air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra, sun, moon, or rising. And um, what I'm also feeling is this is not somebody that is comfortable with emotions as well. So I feel that if you, you're dealing with somebody and you're just like, do they like me or do they not like me? They're not very expressive. They're not somebody that, you know, really, I, I can't read them. I can't tell how they feel about me. I do feel that it's going to be good for you to, um, to express how you feel, especially if this is a new person. For others of you, you have left this person behind. And for others of you, this might be the person coming into the new year that you have recently left, broke up with, divorced from, things like that. You have left them behind. So once again, air sign Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra that you have, it's considered an ex now. Okay, so moving into your past. So let's talk about your love relationship for this month of January. Let me talk about the foundation first because three cards came out. And the foundation is something that we know to be true. We have here the chariot, and the chariot is forward movement, forward progression, and not looking back at the past, moving on into the future. So this is kind of like, you know, uh, that start, that green light, and it's forcing you to move ahead, okay? And it's linked up here with the five of wands, and a five, the five of wands is basically uh, leaving behind conflict. And I feel that if you have been in an argument with somebody, you're winning a conflict. You're winning like an argument. And, you know, we're, we're not talking about like, um, uh, I guess like um, bragging about a conflict, but I feel it's almost like you have, you, you have a lot of um, sensibilities about you. So what I feel is you are able to explain yourself really well so that you can get your point across and overcome some type of a long-standing conflict between you and a relationship partner. It's like arguing for the truth. And I feel that you've reached a state of enlightenment where they are starting to see that, oh, okay, you're right. So it's like, you know, getting that you're right type of a admittance from another person uh, that you're romantically involved with. It's also linked up here with the Seven of Cups. And the Seven of Cups is what I call like socially dating, you know, uh, internet dating, having a lot of options and things like that. When it shows up in the reverse, it basically means all the, the false options are kind of like falling away. You're narrowing down your options for those who are single, or you are deciding on one specific person that you really like and you want to make your feelings known to them or you want to proceed ahead with them. So this combination is really good. So a lot of you have recently, you know, like had a major argument with a partner and then you're reconciling. 
or you are single and you're narrowing down your options as to who you want to date. Let's talk about the past now. We have the Knight of Cups and the Nine of Wands. The Knight of Cups is an air sign. So the, I'm sorry, a water sign. So this is a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio that is shown up in your past. This is somebody that comes in and I feel that they're not 100% whole themselves. They're highly romantic. They're, they're highly like idealistic. They're looking for a relationship partner that uh, nurtures them, that wants to take care of them. So I feel like this is not somebody that is... 100% self-sufficient. They're also not able to, um, I, I feel like they're not able to be like a fair contributor to a relationship. And we're not talking just monetary terms. We're talking like emotionally. It, it seems to me as if they're, they're kind of broken and they're looking for you to fix them. Okay. On top of that, I feel like this might be somebody who's quite flirtatious and they might have multiple options on the table and they're not looking for a serious relationship as well. It's linked up as well with the Nine of Wands and the Nine of Wands indicates somebody with a lot of chaos and drama and you know uh, a heavy loaded history in their past. So somebody from a broken home, somebody who might have dealt with a lot of emotional trauma as a kid and I feel like rather than growing from it and allowing these, um, you know, some sometimes people that have been through a lot in their lives, like a lot of instability, um, they can also, they have the potential to be a very wise, a very sympathetic person. And when this card shows up in the reverse position, it basically indicates to me somebody who's seen a lot of stuff in their lives, they might have seen a lot. And... Um, they might have experienced a lot and somehow they become corrupted by it, okay? So I feel like you were involved with this person and this person is moving into your past. Um, I do feel somebody with a lot of suspicions. They might have projected their suspicions on you, like onto you. And um, I feel somebody would like, I almost feel like personality disorders, um, such as I'm sensing like, somebody who is a little bit, who takes like a victim mentality, somebody who might also um, be, I feel deceitful. Okay, so like somehow they are corrupted by their environment. And this is in your past. Present situation here is the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords usually indicates to me some stoppage in communication. So I feel like that person, whoever it is, that's deceitful, is moving into your past and you're not communicating with them anymore and a lot of you might have stopped communicating with them you know like last month and um, I feel that right now you're nursing a broken heart or either that or you're just like you know I'm better than this so I am waiting for the right person to give my heart to and I feel like this is a card also of spiritual ascension I mentioned earlier that you have a lot of psychic um hits that are coming through for you as well your eighth house is loaded with that king of cups which basically means you know having dreams intuition premonitions and things like that and i do feel that you really need to trust your intuition for this month okay don't go back to that previous situation because i feel like they have some trauma that they need to see a therapist about and they you, you it's not your place to fix them let that go let them fix themselves somehow it's not your place to fix them you're supposed to come in as an equal relationship partner so i feel that you're moving on and you're just like i literally feel some of you are saying i'm too old to play games and um i feel some of you are just like no i'm waiting for the right one and I feel that you're doing it in a very mature manner. It's linked up here with the Two of Swords. And the Two of Swords is basically making a decision, like no longer being in a stalemate with somebody, no longer doing this merry-go-around and, you know, back and forth with somebody. Just um, moving on from it, okay? Um, what's crowning your reading here? And the crowning energy is something that you're thinking about. We have the hangman in the reverse. No longer putting your life on hold for another person. Because I feel like a lot of you might realize this person, they, they, they need some help or they, um, they're not right for you or you, you can't trust them. Okay. 
Um, so it's linked up here with the hangman, which is in reverse. So you're getting out of that state of limbo. You're coming into a lot of spiritual enlightenment where you're deciding that I'm, I'm worth a lot more and I need somebody that can reciprocate, that can give me that stability and can reciprocate my feelings. And we also have as well, 10 of swords, which is basically being lied to, be, being cheated on. And I feel like this is something that is, uh, that happened in the past. And it's still coloring your judgment. And because you have experienced this, you're not going to put yourself through it. Okay. So crowning this reading is some trauma in the past that you're dealing with. Or you have like experience. And now because of that, you're a lot more careful about people coming through. You're a lot more discerning. But I don't feel that you're jaded. I feel that you're just waiting for the right person. Moving forward, so once again, if you are in a stable, stable relationship with another person, okay, and they don't have, you know, there isn't like deception and, and things like that, mis, um, uh, miscommunication and even deception, then I do feel what's happening here is, you know, there is cooperation coming through between two partners. So I feel like I'm speaking to a lot of people who are single, and this is what's happening for those who are single. You have here the Knight of Wands, and the Knight of Wands is a fire sign. So this is an Aries, a Sagittarius, or a Leo. This is somebody who is very, very courageous. I feel like they have a lot of experience. You know, like they, they've, been, they've been everywhere. It seems like somebody who bounces around quite a bit. Um, it's the king energy. So I feel like they are very, very career focused. I feel that they are somebody quite athletic. They enjoy the outdoors a great deal. They love animals. They love animals. So I feel that you're coming into contact with somebody like this and they're charging at you. So I feel like they really like you. They're, they're very, very attracted to you. This is a card of somebody who's like, you know, um, I feel like it's very, it's very loving, very caring, very courageous, will defend your honor. So if it's a male or female, it doesn't matter. They're very courageous. Okay. And it also indicates, you know, somebody charging right at you, somebody coming right at you. They're going to make their feelings known. And so I feel that you're going to make your feelings known. So there's mutual reception here. And likewise, if you're dealing with another earth sign for whatever reason, you're dealing with another earth sign this month. There's going to be a lot of excitement, a lot of passion being rekindled. Okay. So earth sign Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, sun, moon, or rising. Um, it looks really good. Let me just put it this way. It looks very, very good. Okay. So, um, I do see, you know, people coming together. I feel like you are waiting for somebody to make a gesture before you give your heart away. So it's almost like this waiting for the other person to come forward. Be, be, you've already got that heart. You know, you're ready to give your heart away. You're waiting for somebody to come forward and once they come forward then you're going to charge at them so very very good romantic reading uh taurus i'm glad to see that what i'm gonna do is um there's a ten of swords here so i'm gonna use this spread and i'm gonna pull out a uh, card just to see what it relates to and who that is tied in with okay so you have the ten of swords which you're thinking about some type of a betrayal some type of a problem that left you kind of like feeling insecure about yourself insecure about your capabilities and insecure about your prospects so let me just see i feel like it's work related affecting your relationship so first of all we have here the ace of pentacles um new job offers two of pentacles deciding between two options and three of pentacles. So we have, you know, one, two, three, which basically indicates um, some escalation, some financial issues that might have affected you and um, that that really that really hurt the prospects of a previous relationship. I feel like this is something that is happening in the past as well. OK, um, I feel like for a lot of you, you might have been married. You might have been married to somebody like um, that really hurt you. And I do feel like, you know, actually stepping out on, on a relationship, okay? 